Do you think all the cholesterol is bad for your health? What if I told you that your body actually needs cholesterol to function properly? Surprising, isn't it? Hi, I am Dr. Salim and today we are not just discussing six effective home remedies for controlling cholesterol, but we will also explore what cholesterol actually is, its types and why it increases in our bodies in the first place. So let's get started with this video and understand all these things in full detail. Cholesterol is a waxy, fat-like substance found in all our body cells and it plays a very crucial role in the production of certain hormones, building up the cell walls, synthesis of vitamin D and some other substances that help you digest food. Now there are two types of cholesterols, LDL and HDL. LDL or low density lipoprotein often referred to as bad cholesterol carries cholesterol particles throughout your body. LDL cholesterol builds up in the walls of your arteries making them hard and narrow leading to heart diseases. On the other hand HDL or high density lipoprotein also known as good cholesterol carries cholesterol back to your liver where it is removed from your body. HDL is considered good because high levels of HDL can actually lower your risk of heart disease and stroke. There are several factors that can cause an increase in your cholesterol levels. These include eating an unhealthy diet which has high amounts of saturated fats and trans fats. Lack of physical activity is another important factor and apart from this, obesity, excessive smoking, alcohol and certain medical conditions or medications can also cause an increase in your cholesterol levels. But don't worry, while it's essential to consult with your healthcare provider and follow prescribed medications, there are natural ways to control your cholesterol levels. Now let's talk about six highly effective home remedies for controlling cholesterol. These remedies are backed by scientific evidence and we will discuss how to incorporate them in your daily routine. So let's dive in. The first thing that you can use to lower your cholesterol level is eating pomegranate. Pomegranate is a wonderful fruit that is packed with antioxidants including polyphenol. Studies have suggested that foods which are rich in polyphenols can help lower bad cholesterol. In a study published in Clinical Nutrition, pomegranate juice consumption led to a significant decrease in LDL or bad cholesterol. You can enjoy pomegranates in salads, as a smoothie or just as a juice. And remember, fresh is always better than processed. Next is garlic. Garlic is a spice that is used extensively in various cuisines. Garlic is rich in a plant compound which is called allicin that helps to lower cholesterol levels. A 2013 study published in the Journal of Nutrition concluded that aged garlic extract is a very very effective remedy in reducing LDL cholesterol in adults. To get the most benefits out of garlic, try eating 2-3 to three cloves of raw garlic daily. And remember not to swallow them as it is. It is always a good idea to chop the garlic clove first, wait for 10 minutes and then eat them with lukewarm water. Our third remedy is oats. Friends, oats are not just for breakfast, they also reduce your cholesterol levels. Oats are rich in soluble fiber which reduces your low density lipoprotein or you can say the bad cholesterol. According to a 2015 study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, consuming 3 grams of beta-glucons, beta-glucons basically is a type of fiber which is found in oats. So if you consume just 3 grams of these beta-glucans daily, then it can reduce your cholesterol levels by up to 5 to 7 percent. Next one is olive oil. Olive oil is rich in monounsaturated fatty acids which are very good for the heart. Research in the New England Journal of Medicine has found that eating olive oil in place of other unhealthy fats can lead to a significant reduction in cardiovascular risk. But remember that moderation is the key here. Olive oil or any other oil has a significant amount of calories, so it should always be used in less quantity. Fatty fishes are also a very good option for you if you are a non-vegetarian and your cholesterol is high. Fatty fishes are rich in omega-3 fatty acids which lower LDL cholesterol. Try grilling or baking your fish and aim for at least 2 servings a week as part of a heart healthy diet. 
almonds, walnuts and other nuts can also improve blood cholesterol. Improve here means they can help you manage the healthy cholesterol profile. A review in American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that consuming three nuts lowered total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol and triglycerides. You can incorporate nuts into your meals as a topping in salads or even as a healthy snack. But be careful because they are also rich in calories. So limit your daily intake to just a small handful. Friends, remember these remedies are mean to supplement, not to replace your medications prescribed by your doctor. Always consult a healthcare provider before making major changes to your diet. Don't forget to subscribe for more such evidence-based health and wellness tips. I will see you in the next video. Till then, this is me, Dr. Salim, signing off. Take care, stay healthy, Hamesha.